So all of us would have seen a person with visual impairment use the white cane to detect nearby obstacles on the ground. But this cane cannot detect anything from knee till head height, which frequently causes upper body or face injuries. So for a person with blindness, it's like walking in a minefield. Suddenly you encounter an obstacle, it hits you, then you have to change direction. The smart cane device fits on the top fold of the traditional white cane. What it has, it has an ultrasonic transmitter receiver system which projects an ultrasonic beam which gets reflected from obstacles in front which gives indication to what the distance is. And this distance information is provided through these varying vibration patterns which are produced on the grip. So as the person is walking, uh, once they get vibrations, they know there's something in front, even without touching. And by changing the direction of the sensor, they know, well, there's a gap in this part, so they don't have to bang into a, say, a wall or a person or even an animal and can find a safe path on the side. I'm working with smart cane for two years. In the morning, I have to go to the station to walk to 6 km. Then there is a train, then there is a bus to the station to the nearest metro station. Then there is a bus to the office. Many people are talking to their eyes that they will show something to the person. They will not get out of it without the person. It's a very good feeling. It has improved my confidence a lot. Doing all this travel, busy schedules, how do you feel? <laughs> it's nice. In the development of the smart cane, different users in different parts of India used it and gave the feedback. It had to be something very subtle and lightweight. For an engineer, there's nothing more beautiful than somebody using your innovation. So when we walk on the street and find somebody whom we don't know, we don't know where they've got the device from or where the training from is using in their day-to-day -day lives, there's nothing more beautiful than that. So this is a call for young people who have energies to actually think out of the box, to invent, to find solutions to the pressing challenges facing our people. So the young people in science and technology have a role to play and to develop you know, solutions in India, for India, and in fact, for the world. <laughs>